this is one of New Zealand's darkest days. It is clear that this can now only be described as a terrorist attack. From what we know, it does appear to have been well planned. Two explosive devices attached to suspects' vehicles have now been found and they have been disarmed. We had of all the fatalities, family, friends that we've known for 19 years, dead. People who were there for my engagement, dead. You don't think something like this could happen in New Zealand? Well, in Christchurch of all places, we're such a small community. We're so kind and loving, so I just don't understand why someone would hurt us like this. And in such a way, I, I don't know if I'm going to be feeling safe walking by myself wearing my headscarf. And I've never felt that way before. It shouldn't be in the public domain and we're doing everything we can uh, to remove it. A lot of people were sitting in the floor. The gun was around the door. I ran behind the mosque. And I sat in behind the container. I rang to the police. As family members with our New Zealand cousins today, we grieve, we are shocked, we are appalled. We are outraged and we stand here and condemn absolutely the attack that occurred today by an extremist, right-wing, violent terrorist. These are people who I would describe as having extremist views that have absolutely no place in New Zealand and in fact have no place in the world. You may have chosen us, but we utterly reject and condemn you.